all of our students need to learn on new technology. The main advantage um, to that simulator is the cues. It makes it a lot easier to start out after you do this rather than just going straight out there and just going at it. Something I tell myself every day is you have to learn something new. So what we would do is take them into the uh, virtual classroom and let them play with the virtual welder and focus on travel speed with that particular cue. And so after again doing it a number of times, we're, we'll be able to take that student back out into the lab and you'll see an improvement in the wells. You can turn on or off specific cues, whether they be work angle, travel angle, uh, speed, uh, contact tip to work distance or arc length. It really helps showing you your angles without actually welding. So you could actually practice trying to make sure you are holding anything in proper position. So it creates that muscle memory of um, you know, what position you should be in, what stance that you should hold, uh, where your head should be in order to see the arc correctly, things like that that prepare them for coming out here and, and actually throwing some sparks. The virtual welder, as much as I resisted it, I think it was ideal made for, for the newer students. The other values added are the recruitment, the students' excitement of, of being able to um, work on the simulators, have the competitions, those type of things right there um, are values that um, we can't put numbers on. And really we can have a competition throughout the students and it's kind of a self-driven uh, competition. Uh, one student may get an 80 uh, while everyone else is trying to outdo that one student. Um, but in the meantime, they're actually learning something which they you know, may not realize that they're, they are learning. It's like, it's like a video game, but it helps you out with your physical uh, motion when you're out there in the shop just to do what you're supposed to and get the well right so it'll tie in right. Basically, these kids are born with uh, computer games and computers in their, in their lap. They pick it up. It seems to me to be like a, a nice extension of my lectures. It speaks to them in a language that they understand. And they've really, what I've noticed most about it is they pick it up quicker. Whip and pause is probably my favorite uh, with that simulator because, again, I can't show them or explain to them as accurately what whip and pause technique is for the E6010 electrode um, like the simulator does. Once we deal with the vertex, we move forward, but again, if a student is having issues in a particular area, we definitely refer them back to the vertex where they can correct those issues. If a uh, student's having a little trouble with uh, one parameter or the other, you can cue it in on just that parameter. They can make the, the correction, they can see it, and it's, it just really registers with the newer student. In order to cut and prepare a pipe coupon, it's gonna take quite a while. So you're spending more time preparing than you are actually welding. So we can go out there, we can set up the, the pipe coupon and hit new coupon, and we've got a brand new one. And we can work on that travel angle, that uh, travel speed, et cetera. And in the past three years, we have seen a reduction of well over 20% of, of what our um, consumable fees have been uh, budgeted for. You can get in there and you can see how much you saved as far as coupons, gas. Well, I, I like the fact that it saves us money uh, and you can actually monitor how much a student is using that virtually and actually compare it to our consumables out here and it is a big savings. I was surprised at the data that it's able to capture and maintain. Lincoln has done things out there that no one else has done. So we're very appreciative here.